Hello, this is a Nest thermostat. So it's not just a programmable thermostat, it certainly is. It's also a smart thermostat. So it's very energy efficient. We're in the hall, the thermostat's located in the hall. And so is the indoor air handler. Some people call it the furnace, or whatever you call it, what you will, but it's the indoor air handler. This handles the fan, it handles the heat, and half of the air conditioning system. So you have a condensing unit outside and you have evaporator coils inside. So there's the thermostat, it's programmable and it's smart. Coming in here, this is the main disconnect for the electric service to the panel. This is the data plate for it. Um, on the furnace side, um, furnace, it's not a furnace, this is a heat pump. It's a, it's a heat pump. And from the heating side of this system, I, I'm not finding uh, much of anything to uh, concern myself about. The serial number appears as if it was installed in 2019. So, okay, so it's about two years old. We're almost into 2021 now. Thank goodness. I guess everybody would agree with that. So, I'm looking, I'm looking, okay, not much to talk about that, so let's just keep on talking. Here's the air conditioning side of it. We can talk a little bit about this. See this P trap right here? It looks like a P, alright, but that's a shallow trap. It's a shallow trap, and a lot of manufacturers don't, I mean, they sell it. See, it's right there. I mean, they buy it right off the shelf in the store, but... A lot of manufacturers want a deeper P-trap than that. And I'm not sure about pain, to be perfectly honest. Let me know. This P-trap should have been insulated. Okay? And it is a shallow trap. Now, right here, um, I call it a float switch. People call it a safety switch. Call it what you will, but that's what we need. It's supposed to be there. So, everything's looking good. Let's just go back to what we found so far. Not much, okay? We found a shallow P-trap that hasn't been insulated. So let's go along a little farther. We've got our air filter. To be honest, this is, one of the, this is a popular air filter right now. It's a, a gray in color, so I can't tell that it's that it's dirty. I can't tell that it's dirty. If it was filthy, I could tell, but I can't. This is 16 by 25 and 1, and this is an electric system. All right, so that's okay for the air filter to be so close to the heater. And uh, if it was a different application, and it's not. If it's a different application, we'd be saying something else. So anyway, the air filter is not filthy. Underneath here, this is a relatively recent, since about 2015. But had this home been built this morning, this this return plumb underneath it would have been, all been lined with metal. All been lined with metal. And we've got, I don't know, some kind of discoloration. Something's been slinging water. It's probably why they replaced the unit. Probably why it was replaced. Because it looks like we had some water issues underneath here before. So that's what we got. Let's put this filter back. 16 by 25 by 1. So I can remember it from my field notes. And, uh, you know, a boring report. That's what we want. We don't want exciting reports. We want boring reports. So...